Warner Brothers Company, the makers of Lux Toilet Soap, brings you the Lux Radio Theater, starring Edward G. Robinson and Terry Moore in Man on a Tightrope. Ladies and gentlemen, your producer, Mr. Irving Cummings. Greetings from Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we bring you the thrilling drama of a man who took a desperate st stand against tyranny and risked his life in a fantastic escape attempt from behind the Iron Curtain. It's Man on a Tightrope, 20th Century Fox's suspenseful story of a group of daring circus performers. And as the owner of the circus, we have that excellent actor, Edward G. Robinson, co-starring with Terry Moore as his impetuous and romantic daughter. Starring Edward G. Robinson as Carol Schurdick and Terry Moore as Teresa. <laughs> Behind the Iron Curtain, tight in the stranglehold of communism, is the once proud country of Czechoslovakia. In the city of Pilsen, the secret police have brought a man in for questioning. So. Oh. You are Carl Czernick. You're the owner of a circus, correct? Now on the road near the town of Alari? Oh, I'm not the owner, sir. Uh, no, not the owner. It bears your name, the Czernick Circus? I used to own it, sir, and my father was for me. What happened? In 1948, when the People's Democratic Republic won the victory over fascist imperialism, my circus was nationalized like everything else. I was permitted to remain as the, as the manager. You have various members of your family in this circus. Yes, sir. My wife, my daughter, cousins. Your second wife? Uh, yes, sir. My first wife died. She was the mother of my daughter, Teresa. You have private meetings late at night. Meetings? We get together, of course. That's the way with all families. And you're the manager, huh? But you also perform. Yes, sir. I, uh, I perform on the tightrope. My report says you're a clown. What about it, Fesca? He is a clown who performs on a tightrope. Y yes, sir, a, a clown, sir. Two weeks ago, you were ordered by the Ministry of Propaganda to make certain changes in your performance. Yes, sir. It, uh, it was in the act where the other clown kicks me 27 times. You made the changes? Well, to tell you the truth, sir, I, I know, sir, I didn't. Oh? Why not? Well, the way the propaganda officials wanted me to clown, sir, it just wasn't funny. The people didn't laugh. And what do you do, Tenek, in your act? Well, uh, you, uh, you have to imagine it in the clown makeup and costume. Uh, the other clown, uh, he's trying to make me furious so that I'll turn around and kick him. But he can't do it. And then finally, he's so tired that he can't lift his foot to kick me again. Then I do turn around and I give him a big kiss. And the propaganda ministry wanted this changed? Yes, sir. They said that uh, Yaromir, oh, uh, the, he, he's the other clown, that uh, Yaromir should represent Wall Street imperialism. So cats, bats, uh, diamond studs and all that, and I was to be uh, an American Negro worker. Well, we, we tried it that way, and <laughs> we didn't laugh. They just didn't laugh. Do you have your permit? Oh, yes, sir, I, I'm never without it. You'll hand it over. But without that permit, the circus can't move. Sir, sir, I'm not a political man. You'll do well to become one. No, I've been with the circus since I was born. I know it isn't much anymore, and heaven knows there, there are better clowns, but all I ask is that I be allowed to continue as a performer. You have shown disobedience which approaches treason. I have never been a traitor. In the past month alone, I've given seven shows free for the soldiers of our army. You were ordered to give those shows, were you not? Yes, sir, but I was glad to do it. What are you doing with the circus so near to the border? Doing? Why, we, we perform, sir. Out in the country. In the mountain. The forest. On the river. I, I don't know what you mean, sir. I mean that not many miles away is the border of Bavaria, now in the blood-stained hands of the American imperialist. Well, sir... Sir, I swear, I never... Well, true, uh, there are no big cities there, but the, the, there are towns, sir. Many little towns, and we've always performed for them. I'm warning you, Channing. You'll obey instructions or you'll be transferred to where you can do more constructive work than walking a tightrope. Yes, but my circus... Your circus! It is the property of the state. 
will be subject to liquidation and its properties turned over to your competitor, Comrade Barovic. Barovic has been far more intelligent in his ability to accommodate his circus to the party line. Yes, sir. You find 100 Cronin, pay the lieutenant outside. Here, here's your permit. Thank you, sir. One moment, Jenik. What about that radio receiver? Come now, I know you own one. What about it, sir? Is it equipped with a condensator? Condens? I'm afraid I don't know what that is, sir. Oh. Condensator enables you to bring in shortwave broadcasts. Well, I never listened to them, sir. I, I wouldn't think I'm of I'm sure you wouldn't, but others might. I advise you to smash your condensator. Remove temptation. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I, uh... I may go now? You may go. Oscar, there's nothing in this report about a radio. Isn't there? Forgive me that you made a botch of the interrogation. Hmm? You told them the circus belonged to the state. Don't you realize there is no state, the circus, and everything? It belongs to the people. Oh. I... See my error. Thank you. However, I'm not going to worry about a dull, uncomplicated clown. Is that what you think? I think that Chernik is far from uncomplicated. I think he's profoundly shrewd and subtle. And there's something in the back of his mind. Where will the circus be tomorrow? Still in Valari. Thank you. I think I'll have a look at him. Pablo. Yes, sir. You heard? Yes, sir. <laughs> These superior snobs from the propaganda ministry. They all end up in treason to the party. Fesker. Oh, he'd like nothing better than to make a fool of me. But if Fesker's going to be watching that flea-bitten little circus, I'll see to it that somebody's watching Fesker. Hand me that telephone. <laughs> Oh, what happens now? Nothing happens, Arma. We go on as we have. They were impressed with your importance. I see. There's no time to talk about it now. We have a performance to get tonight. I am merely your wife. You can tell all the others, but me, nothing. I've said nothing to anyone. I'll talk to them after the show. Oh, Zama, what were you doing while I was gone? I've been trying to figure out an act. An act? Why not? Everybody around here complains because I don't work. Well, you're my wife. You don't have to work. They say I'm just a piece of excess baggage. Who? Who says so? And if I told you, what would you do? Don't make me laugh. What are you doing with the radio? Well, I've got to hide it. Now, don't even mention the word until I say it's all right again. Since when is it a crime to listen to music? Well, you can take my word for it. Don't use it. Conradin says he had to see you as soon as you got back. If he got back. Well, I'll see him later. The tents, the ropes. He says they're falling apart. He says unless you get new equipment, someone's going to get killed. Everything's falling apart. Everything's rotten. The police car. What did they accuse you of? I had the right to know. Oh, it was nothing. Nothing, I tell you. Just the usual routine. Did it ever occur to you to stand up for your rights? I haven't any. Nobody has rights anymore. You know... One of these days, you may walk in here and find I packed my suitcase and left. You think I couldn't get along on my own, don't you? Oh, Zama, please, not now. But you rush. There's plenty of time. I want to see Teresa. Where is she? How would I know? She's your daughter, not mine. But I'll give you one bit of advice. If you want to know where she is, look for that young mechanic. Foster? Are you blind? What do you think she's made of? Oh, just let me alone. Let me alone. <laughs> I'm so thankful you're back, Father. If you hadn't returned, I was going to Pilsen after you. Were you? Well, thank you, Teresa. Now, they, they let me go. We'll have a good night tonight, I think. Are you ready to go on? That's a funny question. Of course I'm ready. I've been looking for you. You were not in your wagon, not with your horses. I... I was trying to help... The axle on Crofter's trailer broke again. I was trying to help Joe. Joe? Since when is it Joe? Do you call all the men by their first names? If I know them well enough, yes. Why? You and Vosdick. I don't like it. 
Now, you're my daughter, Teresa. I work in this circus, too. I earn what I paid, and I'll do as I please. Now, you're my daughter. Vosdex is a stranger to us. He's been with the circus nearly a year. Do you know anything about him, where he came from, whose people are? I know that I like him. I like to be with him, and I will be with him just as much as I you want to. You have nothing to do with Vosdex outside of your work. I know what's been going on, and I want it to stop. Father, I... I'm sorry. But you needn't be worried about Joe. He's a good man. He's decent, he's clean, and I'm I... I'm not worried about him. I'm worried about you, darling. It isn't your fault that you're ignorant as a child. You've had no one to teach you, no mother, no school except the circus. No one but me, and I've had no time. Father, the police. Police? You're sure you're all right? Yes, yes, it's all right. Now get to work. Could I see you, Mr. Chernick, please? What's your trouble, Rudolph? I know what they're all telling you. Telling me what? But, but it is not my fault. It isn't, I swear it. What, your animals, your lions, uh, giving you trouble? Is that it? Oh, you're joking, Mr. Chernick. How can you joke? It, it's Madame, your, your wife, now, sir. stop it. Please, Mr. Chernick, please keep her away from me. Again today, when you were in film... Now please. listen to me. You're the only good lion tamer left in this country. If it weren't for that, I should take great pleasure in killing you. Mr. Chernick, the, the curse of my life is that I am a handsome man. I cannot help myself. Shut up! Shut up and get back to your line. Joe. Joe, let's go for a walk. I can't, Teresa. Not now. That's what you said before the show, but the performance is over. We could walk all night if we wanted to. I told you I can't. I've got work to do. Besides your father, he's been watching me ever since he came back. Joe, sooner or later we'll Please, be... Please, Therese. In the morning. I'll see you in the morning. I love you. And it's because I love you that I'm Yes. Not... Yes, I know. Good night. in the office wagon in ten minutes. And uh, tell the others, Conradin, Radislav, and Kubelik. Yes, Mr. Chenny. Oh, uh, Yaramir. What do you know about this Joe Vartek? Oh, not much. He was one of those displaced people, I think. He, he doesn't talk. He keeps to himself. Has he got any friends you know of? Well, no. Teresa, she seems to be friends with him. Well, somewhere among us, there is a spy. The police have a spy among us. Oh, now what? What is it, Crofter? What's the trouble? Crofter! Crofter the magic! He stole the country! Come right at once to kill him! The tendon is the chance! You better hurry! It's a bad guy! You're gonna have to me or I'll kill you! Hey, get the fire hose! That'll bring him down! Get the fire hose! Oh, never mind the hose! What was stolen, Conrad? My crosser thinks he stole it. I saw him do it. There he is. He's climbed to the top of the tent. You dirty ape! You monkey! He didn't steal it. He didn't. Oh, Madam Chernick, please. I tell you, I saw him. He's not even half a man. Just a dwarf, a midget. Let him alone. Get him down here. I'll cut the rope. That'll bring him down. Stop him, Carl. Stop him. Now, get back, all of you. Come down here, Kalka. Get down off that rope. You get it back from him? I'll get it back. I'll see you later in the ticket oh. wagon. Now, go to bed, all of you. Go to bed. Kalka. Come down here. Come down, please. He won't beat you. You heard her? I won't beat you. You promise? Yes, yes, I promise. Mr. Barovic himself offered him a job. Barovic? He has a real circus. Six elephants. You want the crucifix? Take it. Kalka, come over here. You can pack your bag and go to Barovic. Barovic and his six elephants. Here, here's your pay. Now get out. You make that mistake, Mr. Chernick. You you wait. You find out. At last you found someone you're not afraid of. A dwarf. Zama, go to the trailer. I'll be a while yet. Another meeting? Now, just go to the trailer and go to bed. <laughs> So I pay them a hundred kroner and they let me go. 
How did they find out about the radio? Hmm. That's what I've been wondering. How? No one knows about it except those of us here in this wagon. My wife and daughter. I can't suspect any one of you. Perhaps I should, but I can't do it. What about Zama? Now, my wife is my wife, Conrad, and we'll out of this. Our I'm lives are at stake. We can't leave anyone out. If she can betray you in one way, she can betray no, you in enough. enough. I can forgive you for that only because you don't know what you're talking about. Well, so that disposes of everyone except my daughter. Teresa? Oh, that's impossible. No, thank you, Your Honor. And you're right. Yes, but she's so young. She may have innocently told someone what we listened to. And who? Who is this someone, Chernick? And it could be the silent young man who knows so much about machinery. Joe Vosdick? So he is the spy. Well, who would be more likely? We know nothing about him, where he came from, or his friends. And there are lots of people we don't know anything about. Well, that's the way with a circus. They come and they go and we don't ask questions. Do you think Vosdick's learned anything definite? No, but I have a feeling... I have a feeling that everything is closing in around us. Oh, Chernick, listen to me. You know I've never been backward in my loyalty to you. I've gone along with you wherever you've led. But what's happened to you now? You've lost your power of action. All you do now is talk and look and dream. You've let that woman take the heart out of you. Now, that's enough. Will you just tell us what you're waiting for? Everything is closing in. You say, does anyone disagree? No. And when will we be closer to the border than we are now? Get out. Come on, all of you. We have to have an answer. No, it's our lives, too. Now, be patient with me, my friends. When the time is right, I'll know what to do. Man on a Tightrope, starring Edward G. Robinson as Chernick and Terry Moore as Teresa. It's early the following morning. In the gray, misty light, the circus is strangely quiet. In the stalls where the horses are rousing, there's a man and a woman, Bosdek and Teresa. Shouldn't have come here, Therese. But you're going away. You're leaving. Yes. I'm going with you. No. You don't even know where I'm going. Anywhere. You don't even know who I am. I don't care. I know you're the only man I've ever loved, ever wanted. And I know that you love me, too. You've got to love me, Joe, and take me with you. I can't, Therese. I'm going to try to slip across the frontier into the American zone. I've got to wait for a cloudy night and no moon. That's why I can't even think the of... The frontier... Where is it? We're very near to it right now. We'll be near it for the next few days. Why do you want to do this? Because I'm an American. Joe, American? You're a spy? No. That would be a lot better than what I am. I'm a deserter from the army. Deserter? I was born here, Therese, brought up here. But my father saw it was coming. Munich, the Nazis. He got us to America. But he stayed behind to close up his business. He never got out. I became an American. But I was still part Czech. When the day of liberation came, I was here in the American army. I asked for a pass to go to Darun to look for my father. They wouldn't give it to you? They couldn't, Therese. Darun was beyond the Russian lines, but I went anyway. Darun. It was nothing but ruin, so I kept going. Then I knew I was no longer just AWOL. I was a deserter. I couldn't get back to the Americans. They'd already left Czechoslovakia. But the Russians didn't leave. Joe. Joe, darling. I worked at all kinds of jobs, Therese. I even worked for the Red Army for a while. Can you imagine? And then when the circus came along and offered me a job, I jumped at the chance. I could keep traveling. I could still hope that I'd find my father. Did you? The man had been in the same concentration camp. He knew my father was dead. He didn't know how he died. Maybe the gas chamber. I'm glad he didn't know. Anyway, I know just one thing. I've got to leave. You'll take me with you. No, no, Therese. How can I? Wherever you go, I'll go with you. I'll never forget you, Therese. I'll never stop being in love with you. Therese, come here. I love him. I love him and nothing on God's earth will keep me away from him. Go with Teresa, your father. listen to me. Now, look, I don't want to cause you any unhappiness but you're making a mistake much bigger than you can possibly know. 
You're my child, and I've loved you from the instant you were born. Now, you've got to believe me. And you think I'm still the same sweet little bundle of innocence I was then. Well, I've grown up. I'm a woman, and I'm going to act like one. You don't understand. Don't I? Or is it you who don't understand? Perhaps it would be a good idea for you to pay more attention to your wife and see what she's up to. Fosdick. She... She shouldn't have talked that way to you. That's none of your concern. I want to ask you something. Mr. Chernick. What is it? Barovic. Barovic is here. He wants to see you. Barovic? Barovic and two bodyguards. This circus is in Makula. What's he doing here? I don't know. Uh, tell Barovic I'll meet him in the office wagon. Alone. Two bodyguards out there. Who's going to attack you? Uh, he'll relieve my mind. However, they make me look important, my friend. Keep your feet off my desk. And don't insult me by calling me friend. <laughs> Listen to the master. Well, how's business, Chernick? Excellent. Oh, what a liar. <laughs> Tell me something. How much of your sure do you really think you can take with you? With me? Where? Over the border. Into the American zone, into Bavaria. What are you talking about? About a plan you discussed last night in this very wagon. You will filter across the border by degrees in the dead of night, somewhere in the wild country between Tatchev and Marevsky. You figure on some losses, but you think that within three nights you'll have the bulk of your circus across. May I ask where you got all this information? Not that you tell me. <laughs> well, why not? A little man crouching under this wagon can hear everything. Yeah. The dwarf, Kalka. Fortunately, the little man is even more terrified of the police than you are. All right, what do you want, Barovic? Nothing whatsoever. <laughs> I merely came to warn an old friend. Tell me what you want. No more than the leavings, Chernick. Surely you don't imagine you can get the whole show across. No, I'll be leaving the tents, all of them. Good condition? Is anything in good condition these days? Very well, I accept the tents. The seating? You can have the seating. The equipment? Yes, you can have the truck. Lions? No. Elephant? No. You think I'd leave any of my performers behind? You can have the wolves. They don't perform. But uh, you'll have to round them up. I'm going to release them at the frontier to create a diversion. <laughs> You've worked this down to the last detail, haven't you, Chernick? I told the police in person that I'm not political. And that's the truth. When they try to force their politics on my circus, then I must fight them. And if I'm not able to fight them, then I must escape from them. And I'll make that attempt, whatever the cost. You know, Chernick, all circus men are fools. Otherwise, we wouldn't be in the business. But you're the biggest fool of us all. Don't you realize that your plan's impossible? No, it's not impossible. All along the border, not a tree, not a house. They've cut down everything for the depth of a mile. They've mined every field. they put up three rows of barbed wire fences. Yes, I saw all of that yesterday on my way back from Pilsen. So I'm not going to try to filter across. I'm going direct. Huh? Straight down the highway and over the bridge. Impossible. Well, the very fact that it is impossible could work to our advantage. When, Chernick? Tomorrow, Friday, when? Today. Today? Hmm. But you're all ready? No. But with you in possession of the secret, I can't run the risk. I know I can't trust you any further than I can see you. <laughs> You know, you're right. Times I don't even trust myself. Well, I'll be sorry to lose you, Chernick. Life won't be nearly so interesting with you in your grave. Tell me something, Barabi. Huh. For as long as we've known each other, nothing would have pleased you more than if I fell off that tightrope and broke my neck. <laughs> oh, the times I've prayed for it. Yes, and now you know enough about me to have me tortured, hanged, and thrown in the lime pit. It would be so... So easy. Well, then tell me, why didn't you just turn me in and take my circus for nothing? Hmm. You mean you can't answer that for yourself? No, why are you suddenly acting like a decent person? Chernick, dear, I have no more love for you than you have for me. We both cheerfully cut each other's throats. But on one thing, we are together. We're both circus men, first, last, and always. We hate the government and we hate the police. When it comes to the question of the circus against them... You know which side I'm on. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's right. Well, that makes sense. 
How about the tents, the, the equipment? Uh, I'll send the truck to Nicola. Uh, there will be room for a lion or two, maybe. Now, I told you before, no performance. Oh, what a miserable, miserly man. Well, try to make them kill you on the spot if you can. Well, thank you, Barovi. <laughs> Now, uh, forget, forget about Barovic. We're moving out of here as fast as possible. We're moving where? Across the frontier today. Are you crazy? It's a death sentence. We're dead now. This is our last chance to be alive again. Now, I get to work. The uh, tent truck goes first. Right. It goes to Mikula. Mikula? Yes, yes, I'll explain that. All right, that's Crofter's job. I'll tell you. No, 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 not Crofter. Bostek no. will take the truck. Yes, I see. Now, listen carefully. It will be hours before we can get on the road. Right now, both of you will go with me. We'll ride out towards the border. But there are soldiers at there, guards, watchtowers, machines. Yes, I know. Uh, they have a depot there in the wood just off the highway. But beyond them is the river, and across the river is Bavaria. But, Chenick, they'll see us. I want them to see us. Now, leave it to me. I know what to do. Now, get the jeep while I find Boston. <laughs> Truck, Mr. Chernick. Isn't that Crofter's job? Now, don't worry about Crofter. Leave as soon as you can, Bartik. Oh, uh, take the truck to Mikulov. We'll meet you there. Yes, sir. Teresa, uh, you better go to your wagon. We're loading up. I'll go with you, Joe. No, Teresa, I've told you a hundred times. I'm scared. I'm scared you'll try to make the escape before the rest of us catch up with you. Today? In daylight? Therese, no, I'm not that crazy. Please don't leave me, Joe. Please. Please don't go with us. Summer. Start getting ready. Getting out? Where? Uh, I'm not sure, but first I'm going down the road to look around. When I come back, the circus leaves. Barovic. It's Barovic. He gives you orders to move, so you move. Barovic came as a friend. Oh, sure, sure, a friend. You're nothing but a worm. Barovic raises his finger and you jump. You were a great man once, weren't you? Kings and queens asked you to perform for them. And now look at you let the police beat you. You lick Barovic's boots. Why don't you stand up to them like a man? Why? You haven't even got the spirit to answer me. Maybe that will teach you to keep quiet for a little while. You should have done that a long time ago. You see, no matter what I do, what I say, I love you, God. Zama. Um, I... I'll be back as soon as I can. Look, across the river. You can see them from here, American soldiers. Yes, they also have watchtowers, Yadimir. They look with field glasses from the watchtowers and observe the communists, and the communists look back and observe the Americans. There's a sentry on the road with the rifle. Stop, Janik! Stop! Now, you're too nervous. Get hold of yourself. What are you doing here? Where's your travel permit? We represent the circus, sir. So, uh, here. Here's our permit. Hmm. Stay where you are. This entry box. He's going to the telephone. Now, for the sake of your dead mothers, try to look like businessmen. You! Come over here. Me? Yes, sir. What is the Janet? What did he say? I got permission to look around for a moment. Uh, just keep walking. He gave permission? Yes, I told him we'd be, uh, we'd be on the road today, that uh, we would have to stop the rest of the animals to water them. Just as it says, Matt, in the apartment. He didn't telephone? Yes, he had the permit to some officer. We'll stop here for a moment. Uh, he's watching us from the road. Forests and mountains on either side. Below the hill, the river. Now, don't keep looking in one direction. Just talk casually. There are buildings down there. Yes, the bridge, the command post, barracks. All along the river, minefields and barbed wire. Yes, but the road is clear and the bridge is clear. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. The road. There's a barrier in front of the bridge. Yes. Yes, they know it is utterly impossible for anyone to escape down this road. That's to our advantage. And over there, 
is Bavaria. Freedom. Better go back to the chief. Tip your hand to the center. Oh, yes. Good day to you, sir. Thank you again. <laughs> Crofter, Mr. Tarnick, can I see you? Yes, come in, Crofter. I've been waiting for you to get back. Well, while you were gone, they started to load the tents on the truck. I made them stop. You made them stop? Those were my orders. To Vazdek. Yes, Vazdek. What does Vazdek know about tents and seating? And what's this talk about going to Mikulov? Mr. Tarnick, something's going on and I don't like it. Now, look. I made a deal with Barovic. I can't explain it now, but that truck's got to be loaded and on its way. Do the police know about this? This is of no interest to the police. Have you got a permit for Mikulov? Well, let me see it. Let me see the permit. Crofter, have you forgotten who I am? No, Mr. Chanik, but I'm afraid you've forgotten something. You don't own this circus anymore. You don't own me. I'm the leader of the tentmen. The real work is in this circus. And I'm telling you, you're heading for serious trouble. If you don't change these orders, I... <clears throat> Yes, yes, I heard him. Get in here. Tie him up. Gag him. I had no choice. I had to hit him. So he's the one. Crofter. For 20 years, we've been the friends, and he'd have turned me in. I'll just shove him under the desk and put some canvas over him. No, we can't leave him here. No, no, we have to, Mr. Chernick. We have to. There's a man out there looking for you who says his name is Fester. He's from the Ministry of Propaganda. <laughs> Good morning, Tenek. Good morning, sir. Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, nothing, really. I just wanted to have a look around. Well, no? forgive me. Uh, we are just getting ready to move, sir, and I, uh, I have to go to the uh, district police station. You're not in trouble again? Oh, no, 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 sir. Merely the matter of a travel permit. But you have a permit? Yes. Yes, but there's been a change of plan. We're going to uh, Nikula. Oh, I see. And why do you want to go to Mikulov? Well, Barovic is there, sir. We're making a business deal. You and Barovic? Yes, sir. Now, don't be nervous, Chenik. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's difficult to be at ease, sir, in your presence. It's so easy to imagine all sorts of crimes that do not exist. You're right. It is easy to imagine. But you need not uh, worry. We wish no harm to you or your circus. Now, if you like, I'll amend your permit so you can go to Mikulov. What? I won't have to go to the police? I am not entirely without authority, Chernick, as you should know by now. Well, you're very generous, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And you got it? The permit? Esther gave you the permit? Yes. He suspects something? He must, but I don't think he's sure what it is he suspects. Now, what about Crofter? He's conscious, but helpless. All right, now go. Uh, get to work. Oh, uh, Rudolph. Yes, Mr. Chernick? We're about to roll, Rudolph. Oh, I, I, I'm ready, sir. The Lions and I are always ready. Oh, by the way, Rudolph, we must be prepared for some trouble today. Trouble? I, I swear to you, there is nothing between Madame Chernick and me. No matter what they tell That's you, That's not I... what I'm talking about. Oh? I want you to put live ammunition in your pistol. Live... Ammunition? Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. You you don't have to worry about me, Mr. Chan. And uh, just stay in your cage with the lions. You'll be safer there. Safer? I I don't understand. It's quite simple, Rudolph. You and I, there's one thing we know. We know what a miserable coward you are. Mr. Outside Chan of the uh, lion's cage, of course. Forgive me, Rudolph. I hurt your feelings. <laughs> What is it, Carl? You look so, so happy. Uh, I look that way because that's the way I feel. Where's Teresa? Oh, somewhere about. I saw a few minutes ago. Mm. Carl, they're, they're putting the flags on all the wagons. Uh -huh. Why, is it some kind of holiday? Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, uh, Salma, give me some coffee. There's something going on here, and you're very pleased about it. <laughs> what is it, Carl? Sit down. I'm disobeying my own orders telling you this. Tama, you remember how I've listened to the broadcast about all those people who have escaped? Oh, I knew that was what you had in your mind. I've known it a long time, but I never dreamed you had the courage for it. Carl, when? When do we go? In a few minutes. 
The tent truck left long ago. They're going the other way. I couldn't risk the frontier with that heavy stuff. Of course you couldn't. I sent Vosdick so he'd be out of our lives forever. Vosdick? Yes, he's gone for good. Teresa, she went with him. You, you told me you'd just seen her. I know I did. I was lying. She went with Vosdick? Carl, Carl, how could I know? Don't be cruel to her. Understand her. Carl, where are you going? Come on, Rodden. You ready? We're ready. Start the wagons. Row! 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 You're in charge, Conradin. I'm in charge. Yes, sir. Teresa went with Vostick. I'll take the jeep. I'll find them somewhere on the road to Mikulo. Panic. No, no. You go, you go ahead just as we planned. When you're in sight of the frontier, stop and wait for me. Water the horses, feed the animals, anything, anything to make No, Janet, please, you can't leave us now. We can't do this without I'll you. I'll be back in time. Now roll those wagons. Roll Curtain Rises on Act Three of Man on a Tightrope, starring Edward G. Robinson as Chernick and Terry Moore as Teresa. While the shabby little circus winds through the countryside toward the frontier, Chernick is speeding in the opposite direction. And now, on the road to Mikola, he's overtaken Vostak's truck. Where is she, Vostek? Where's Teresa? She's not here, Mr. Chernick. I'm warning you, don't play jokes with me. Teresa's not here. Teresa! I can see you. No. Get out of that truck. Not here, huh? I swear I didn't know. She wanted to come, but I told her to... <coughs> Father, no! No! Oh, Joe! Joe, I told you. I told you I wouldn't leave you. Did... Oh, did he hurt you, darling? Oh, please. Please. I'm all right. I'm never going to leave you. Never. You're coming with me now. No. He'd give us all to the police, he and Crofter. They're both spies. He's an American soldier. He's hiding from the police. You don't know what you're talking about. He's an American. He's going across the frontier. He's going back to the Americans, and I'm going with him. Foster, is this the truth? It's true that I'm going to try. I'll get in the jeep. But the truck's... Forget the truck. I can use you. You see, I'm going to try it myself today. Thanks, Mr. Charles. Now, hurry. They're waiting for us. Now, by now, you all know where we're going and what we're about to attempt. And you know what our chances are. Now, are there any among you who don't want to take this terrible risk? Let them step forward now. No one? Thank you. We'll be at the frontier in less than an hour. We'll stop when we reach that first sentry. He will have to be disposed of, and the telephone wire's cut. Now, you must leave everything to me. After that, we will go slowly down the road. Most of us on foot. And the band will play, and the jugglers and the acrobats will perform. We will march in parade. Chernick Circus will parade for the communists. Teresa will eat her ponies, and... Rudolph will crack his whip and scream at his lions. Now, get yourselves ready. Vostick. All set, Mr. Chernick. Once you're in that sentry uniform, you'll ride on top of the first car. Now, make sure you get his rifle. It's an automatic and try to look official. They may ask questions. You don't know anything except that you're obeying orders from Filson. Yes, sir. Now about the bomb. Uh, Yaramir will be driving the car. He'll hand it up to you. But it, it, it's homemade, Vostek. It, it may not work at all. Be careful with it. And watch out for Teresa for me. Now, we stop at the command post, right? Right. I'll tell them we've been sent to entertain the soldiers. And then Bratislav accidentally opens the cage, and the wolves escape. That's our signal for full speed ahead. We'll use what few guns we have, and then we'll hit the road barrier as hard as we can with the two lead cars and keep going. Carl! Carl, look! It's Galco! Talk us back! I never left for Larry, Mr. Channing. I, I want to go with you. Well, Conradin, let him come. They say a dwarf brings luck. Well, I'll take him with you, Salma. Get back in the trailer. All right, let's get ready. Father... What is it, Teresa? I... I want you to know that I love you. I want you to know that whatever may happen, I'll always love you. And... <laughs> That's all that matters, Teresa. Now kiss me. Pray for us. Father, 
Pavlov, it becomes increasingly apparent that I was right all along. Yes, Comrade Tosca, of course. The audacity of that Chani. Well, we'll soon find out for sure. They're sending police from the Kulov. We'll wait here in Virali until they arrive. We'll wait, Comrade. Have no fear. Chernik's little caravan travels very slowly because of the elephants. We'll have all the time. We... Good afternoon, Comrade Fesker. Commissar, uh, what a pleasant surprise. You've come all the way from Pilsen? That's right, Fesker. You leave us alone, Pavlov? Yes, sir. Oh, any orders you may have received from Comrade Fesker, disregard them entirely. Don't be ridiculous. We're going after that circus. You're going with me back to Pilsen. Have you a warrant for my arrest? I have. And the charges? Oh, there'll be plenty of charges. I know. I was sure that sooner or later you'd exceed your authority. You ordered the granting of an illegal travel permit to that circus. Well, you'd better send somebody after them. We'll take care of it in due time. It's got to be now. They're planning an escape. Tell the committee about it in Pilsen. From now on, Fesca, you need not worry about anything except yourself. Yes. Sooner or later, it happens to all of us. Forgive me if I hope that you will be next. We're ready to start, Alan. You stay here with me. Well, this trailer will be the last in line. It may never get across. Uh, so you, you better go and yarn us, Carl. No. If you're going to be here, then I am. Me too, Mr. Jack. All right, Calker, you too. All I have to do now is give the word to start. Then give it, Carl. It's the end for us, or it's the beginning. Before this day is over, we'll... Crofter! Yes, Crofter. He tried to kill me. He tied me up. Now, nobody tried to kill you, Crofter. Now that you've got... No! Out. No more orders, Mr. Chernick. Now I give the orders. This gun gives the orders. And the order is to turn back. Turn back? Tell them to stop this criminal escape. Now it's too late. No, it's not too late. Traitor. You're a traitor. You've got a gun. Why don't you shoot me? Because... It, 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 it's my duty to turn you over to the police so they can get it all out of you. Tell them to turn back, Turner. I can't. You leave me no choice. You're asking for death. I've done that already. I can get you mercy. Think what can happen to your wife, your daughter. Give the order. I'm getting his legs. Quick, Turner. Quick. I killed him. I killed him. I grabbed his gun and I... Uh. Mr. Chernick! Carl! Tell Conradin to start now. Get the circus rolling now! I can't stop with you. No, no, there's no time for me. Tell him to start. Yes, Carl. Conradin! What were those shots? Nothing. Nothing. Carl says to, to start. Roll! 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 the main gate, sir. Circus? Why? What for? I'm not certain, sir. There's a corporal on the lead vehicle. He says he was ordered by Pilsen to escort them here to the command post. Pilsen? Ordered by Pilsen? There are several vehicles, sir. They're traveling very slowly, followed by horses and uh, animal cages and two elephants, sir. He says they're coming to perform for the base, sir. Well, why couldn't they have given me notice? Put a call through to Pilsen. Yes, sir. Now, what am I supposed to do with a circus? Oh, yes, I can see them now through the window. Look at them, your costumes and everything. Will somebody tell me where I can find a place for them? I think they'd worry about my morale once in a while. Well, what about Pilsen? The line seems to be dead, sir. I can't raise anything. Well, send the man to question that corporal you were talking about. No, do it yourself. And find out what his orders are. <laughs> Officer coming. Get ready. Right. Now keep on performing until you start shooting. Can you see the barrier? About 200 yards straight ahead. And the bridge. Clear? Yes, it's all clear beyond the barrier. You! What are your orders? To escort this circus here, sir. As I said, sir, it's a performance for the personnel. Pull up in front of the gates and stop. I'll advise the colonel. Yes, sir. Here go the wolves. 
right, Fawcett. The watchtower. Here we go. The bridge as fast as you can. The bomb, Fawcett. Throw it. Stacy, get a load of that across the river for the comic camp. How do you like that? They're crashing the bridge. It's a sadness. I tell you, I see elephants giving those glasses. Hey, we're getting visitors, Sarge. Look. Those commies are going nuts. They stop shooting at them. They can't shoot at them. Why can't they shoot at them? On account of all that needs to happen is that just one or two bullets land on our side of the river. Oh, why can't they give us just a burst or two? Hey, they're making it. They're really getting the close. You better get down the river, Sarge, or the suck is coming to town. Bridge. We're on the bridge, I can tell. Yes, yes, Carlos. Just a few more moments. Teresa. She's all right. How many could you tell? I saw only one. If it hadn't been for him, we'd never got by the barrier. He's dead. Not Joe. Rudolph. He was very brave, Mr. Chernick. Almost as if he didn't care. Rudolph. I called him a coward. We've done it, Zama. We've done it. You've done it, Carlos. You've won. You're going to be well. You're going to be happy. No, I'm going to die, my darling. No. No. That cheering. I'm not sure. The Americans, it must be. Tell Conradi. Start the parade again. Tonight we celebrate. We give a performance. We're free, Zama. You and I. Teresa. The circus. We're over the bridge. We're over the bridge. Why are we stopping? We go no further without Mr. Chernick. He will lead us. Chernick is dead. He got us across, and he paid for it. Yes. Oh, no. No. He was glad to pay to me. Don't just stand there. He said to start the parade. You heard what she said. Go on. Yes, they're waiting for us. The Americans. This is Janet Circus. This is Janet Circus. <laughs>